Right, it's an absolutely gorgeous winter's morning, but it's a bit cold, but we're gonna get out on the golf course and I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't buy the 15 degree tailor-made stealth three wood. But before we do that, we've gotta go and pick up some supplies. Can I just get six slices of the um, back bacon then being non-smoked? So we've stopped off and got all the supplies that we need and now we're on our way to the golf course. Uh, we've tried ringing and we can't get through and it's about a what, 45 minute yeah, journey. So a little bit risky but we're going to try anyway. So we've just arrived. Uh, the first thing is there's no secretary here because the clubhouse is closed at the moment while I have a new carpet fitted. So they've got the good old honesty box, which I love. It's £10 to pay nine holes, £20 to pay 18. And I've got no cash on me. So I've recorded this as a witness statement that I promised to call back, I think on Friday when they reopen and pay my dues. It's on camera. Right, so today's video is coming to you from a golf course called Penmine Mower. It's a nine-hole golf course. It's just outside of Conway. I've heard it's really pretty, never played here before, but from what I've seen in terms of this backdrop, pretty impressed so far. But what we're going to look at is a three-wood. The 15-degree three-wood is the one that you're not going to buy, in my opinion. I'm going to test another three-wood that I think you should buy, and I'll tell you the differences between the two. And really, it was demonstrated on that first tee shot that you've just seen. I wanted, we just got out of the car and now it's journey. No warm up, nice easy swing, pop the ball up in the air nice and easy, couple of hundred yards down the fairway, no great effort required. That's the three wood that you should have in your bag. Right, so before we go any further, I've got a question for you. And that is, first of all, do you carry a three wood in your bag setup currently? And if you do carry one, how many times in a round do you think you actually use it? I'm really interested to know the answer to this one. You see, my point is this. I haven't carried a three wood for quite some time. And the reason I don't carry a three wood is because I found that it was a redundant club in the bag. I very rarely used it. If I wasn't sort of lacking confidence with the driver and maybe using it off the tee, then it often stayed there for quite a while because even from a fairway on a par five and a couple of hundred yards in, I wasn't really keen on sort of ease of use. I always found it a difficult club in the bag. And that's why I would suggest you don't carry any three wood in the bag. But if you are going to carry a three wood, then I suggest you consider this one. One thing worth mentioning is I've still got the Stealth irons in my bag because what I do is when I do a review and you've had my initial feedback, I've carried on playing with the Stealth irons. And what I can report is that we never really got out on the course with them in the initial review. It was all about the performance and it was all data led. What I'm really impressed with out here on the golf course is just how good they sound and feel. Massive thumbs up. But anyway, back to the three woods.
Right, every single shot you've seen me hit so far today has been with a Stealth 3 wood. So what am I going on about? And well, there's two versions of the Stealth 3 wood. The Stealth Plus is the all singing, all dancing, fully adjustable, quite expensive three wood. And the one that I suggest most average golfers should steer away from. The three wood that I've been using has been the standard Stealth model. And the big difference to start with is the standard loft. And the standard loft on the HL is 16 and a half degrees. That's one of the major differences that would separate the two. But there's a few more which I'll explain as to why you should dismiss the Stealth Plus. And if you're gonna consider putting a three wood in the bag, make sure it's the HL. That's just staying away from the tree line, is it? Well, I don't know, we might have just clipped a couple of them, but it's, again, playing off a tight lie is something we're, we're on the mat, unfortunately, I'm not being able to get a tee in, which I'd love to have demonstrated just how easy it is to get this ball really airborne playing off a tee. Obviously, off that tight lie, it's a bit more of a penetrating ball flight. And for me still, even with this HL model at 16 and a half degrees, I'm still not sure it's a product that I would necessarily put in the bag myself, the idea of today's video was to say to you, look, if you're determined to put a three wood in the bag, then please make it as easy as possible and add that bit of loft. And the HL product does two things. It adds a little bit of loft to start with. That extra one and a half degrees is massive in my eyes in terms of being able to pick that ball up. It's a fairly easy to use club in terms of high launching, if you like. But the other big difference is that you could possibly buy the Stealth Plus three wood make an adjustment in terms of the loft sleeve and get yourself back up to 16 and a half degrees. There are a couple of problems in relation to setup there, but there's also another big problem and that's 80 pound in your pocket because the difference in price between the Stealth Plus at 349 and this at 279, so that's a 70 pound difference, is also a massive cost saving. And for me, you're gonna buy that three wood, you're gonna crank up the loft and you're gonna end up with the standard stealth product in your bag anyway but like i said i'm still not sure i would even put this in my bag as a three wood and i think there are better options in this stealth fairway wood range and that's what i'll talk to you about next Don't get me wrong, I love filming the product reviews and we always have new, exciting things to try, but this is always my most exciting part of the day. That's it, do that. Well done, why you uh... Okay, right, back in the warmth of the van to give you my sort of uh, overall summary, but I think you, uh, well, you get the message, but there is one thing, one additional thing I want to say, and that was the idea of today's video was to look at, well, as the title suggests, don't buy the 15 degree three wood. I go as far as to say, don't buy any three wood. I think most average golfers, the club is redundant nowadays. I think it's, um, I think there's far more useful and helpful fairway woods out there, which I'll get onto shortly. But if you're adamant to put a three wood in the bag, then if you're looking at the stealth range, then like I said, I would look at the HL product line, which has got that extra bit of loft. And not only are you saving yourself a few quid, I think you know, you're know you giving yourself a lot more help and that one and a half degrees extra of loft is a benefit. But like I said, I would perhaps go a little step further than that and eliminate the three wood altogether. Because when I got fit six weeks ago into the stealth product range, I ended up being best suited to a forward in the HL range. I think that's an 18 degree lofted fairway. 
it was so much easier for me to be able to pick the ball up off the tee and off of a tight line it all of a sudden became a usable product in the bag something i wouldn't be fearful of so for me the message of the video would be this i don't think any average golfer or many don't get too excited there are some people out there that want to throw it in the bag but if you do I would say go to the HL but if most of us I think steer away from them they're a redundant product nowadays and there's far more beneficial products out there um, in terms of the performance of the stealth range if you want my opinion on that I'm not seeing anything that is greatly different than what I've seen from previous iterations of whether that be a tailor-made product or anybody else in terms of three wood performance they're pretty much doing the same as what those previous models have done so I'm not seeing anything fantastic in there the only thing I like about the the ranges from all the manufacturers right now is the broader offering in terms of three wood through to nine woods and I think that's where it's much more appealing for the majority of average golfers that's me done um, in terms of today's video it's been a little bit different you've just seen us make breakfast which is an unusual one um, talking of I've given my rating in terms of the golf club rating on the breakfast this morning. Um, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, it's pretty good. Harsh critic. No, it's As good. Well, at I the like end it. of the day, it was just bacon and eggs, but it was a bit of a cheat. Do you do it in the frying pan? You've seen what we did anyway. It was good. But we've had a great day out, and we sort of filmed a lot more of that day out and tried to incorporate it into the review. Some of you will like it, some of you will not, but by all means, let me know in the comments section below. We're always trying to do things a little bit different on this channel and try and make it a little bit more engaging a little bit more engaging for you and perhaps a little bit more fun for us as well so we've had a, a decent day filming it we just hope you enjoyed watching it right thanks as ever for watching give me your feedback don't forget if you've got three wood in the bag how many times did you use it that's the comment i want to hear from you right see you soon bye